Poonam, you know, uh, looking at this uh, revenue beat, you see revenue beating across almost every business line here, but Greater China, of course, coming in below expectations. What is uh, the expectation here on how that might weigh on Nike moving forward? Oh, and it sounds like we're having a little bit of difficulty with Poonam's uh, mic there. But I think the China question is is really a, uh, the important one, uh, Shanali, because that seems like it is yes, the drag on the stock. I understand Poonam can hear me now, so let's try this again. Poonam, on the headline, it looks like a good quarter from Nike. Beat on the top line, beat on the bottom line. Is it China that is the problem here? China remains a problem here, and it's unlikely to really get better anytime soon because there are still lockdowns there. But the expectations are as China relaxes some of those COVID policies, will the next fiscal year or the next calendar year prove to be better, given two reasons. One, as the policy gets laxed and as they are against easier comparisons than China when they go up into the next calendar year and even into their second half. Um, you know, overall, the quarter was actually pretty good. Uh, we're looking at inventories. Inventories are um, still up about more than 40 percent, and that was where they were last quarter. So that's still a concern, right? What happens to those inventory levels? Will there be more markdowns? It'll be interesting to see what they say on the call about the current for, uh, fourth quarter, calendar fourth quarter, of their fiscal 3Q, and how holidays tracking but but overall this was a pretty good print outside of China curious about that inventory drag because you have them saying here gross margin decreased by 300 basis points primarily due to higher markdowns so that inventory issue how much of a drag will that be on the top line if they have to keep on reducing prices probably a bigger drag in the next quarter because it's the holiday quarter and it's not just Nike that's discounting right to get wallet share here it's also all their rivals and competitors, whether that's Lululemon, whether that's Adidas, where there's Under Armour, they're all discounting to get that wallet share. So having elevated inventory levels just means more markdowns and more aggressive markdowns as they move forward. Yeah, well, to the point on competitors, I'm just looking at the reaction for Lululemon stock, for example, after hours. It is adding to the losses we had already seen uh, in the actual trading session. In terms of the read through here and Nike's management of this, how is it positioned among its peers in terms of managing inventories and frankly just having demand be more resilient in what could be a much softer macro environment? Well, demand resilient as we saw in the numbers that just posted right now. So clearly there is demand for active wear athleisure product. Um, we saw that across most athleisure companies that have reported so far. Now, in terms of read across for competitors and what they can control and what they can control, I think it's a top-notch management team. They're executing well where they can. What happens to the macro in the next calendar year is beyond anyone's control, but the key will be to reduce these inventory levels. And the mm -hmm. only way to reduce them is to promote and add aggressive markdowns. So I, I think we're just going to see the markdowns get even more aggressive for them to get this inventory level down from where it is north of 40 percent today. And how much will investors accept that? You look at the expenses tied to demand creation. You look at tied to overhead and you are seeing still jumps. And so is there room baked into that for investors so long as they're beating? There should be because, you know, I would be worried if they slowed down demand creation expense. Because if you think about Nike and why it leads, it's a 40 billion plus brand. It is the largest athleisure brand in the world. And um, you want to see the innovation because that's what Nike thrives on. It needs those new sneaker drops. It needs the innovation to really continue to fuel interest. And it needs the athlete endorsements. So it's, it's an area where I think Nike needs to invest. And I would want to see them continue investing there.